Our final student speaker is Stephen Coricio. Stephen is from Pat Shog and represents the Ammerman campus today. In addition to being an honor student, a student senator, and a member of Phi Theta Kappa, Stephen is a Get Here From There scholar, a member of PTK, All New York Academic Team, a Distinguished Student Award winner, and a SUNY Chancellor's Award recipient. He has also been selected to receive a 2015 Undergraduate Transfer Scholarship from the Jack Kent Cooke Foundation. That is a prestigious award. That's a prestigious award given to less than 100 students nationwide. This award will provide him with a scholarship that covers tuition, fees, books, and living expenses for a total of $40,000 annually for up to three years. The Jack Kent Cook Scholarship Foundation Scholarship is the largest private scholarship awarded to community college transfer students in the country. And this is Suffolk County Community College's ninth Jack Kent Cook Scholar in its history. <laughs> Chosen by the Ammerman campus as the Daniel B. DePonte Student of the Year, Today, Stephen graduates with an honors diploma in liberal arts general studies. In the fall, he will attend the University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill. <laughs> One of the nation's most noted institutions of higher education. His career goal is to return to Suffolk County Community College as a professor of psychology. Please welcome Stephen to the podium. Before I begin, let it be said that I wouldn't be where I am without the great support that I have received from this college. With all my, <laughs> I want to thank my advisors, the faculty, my friends, my family, of course. I want to thank everybody, but I have to extend two special thanks. Professor Douglas Howard and Professor J. Andrew Monahan, can you please stand up, wherever you are? These two men are the reason why I won that scholarship. Can I have one more round of applause for them before they sit back down? Thank you. Okay. Well, I'm here today to ask one simple question. Why do you do what you do? In film, <laughs> that's a good answer, but that's not the answer. In filling out my application to the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill, I was asked this very same question. It seems really easy, until you try to answer it. I sat there for a good three nights staring at, an empty, staring at the keyboard, not typing, because honestly, I didn't know what to put down. Of course, there are easy answers. You can do this for a better job. You can do this for money. You can do this for stability. But why do you do it? What are you doing it for? To me, these answers came after three days of thinking. You do these things for your family. You do these things to bring yourself to a better point, to become more than what you were, and to learn, of course. The only problem is, sometimes we forget this. So driven in the pursuit of our goals are we that we often forget why we pursue them. Can we hear for the families in the audience? I mean, it's very easy to say that you're doing what you're doing for money, but that's never the real answer. You're doing what you're doing to support people. You're doing what you're doing to support yourself or to gain something. There's an old adage that goes, do not lose sight of the forest for the trees. In this, it means that you should never forget where you are just because of the bigger picture. Always appreciate what you have and why you're here. Never forget what you're here for and who you're here for. While the ultimate goal is a beautiful thing, don't let your passion consume you. Always stay grounded. Can we hear it for the class of 2015? Thank you. Thank you guys very much.
Thank you, Stephen. Stephen Curcio.